Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 5th of November. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Horizon, Telstra, Lendlease, WiseTech and Mesoblast. So if you have a request, send it through. Make sure you have signed up to our free newsletter. If you do enjoy these videos, I'd love you to share them on social media um, or even leave us a review on Facebook and Google. Remember, our core business is portfolio management. We act like a stockbroker. We give ongoing advice. If you'd like that extra level of help, please call me and I'll explain how that works. And of course, any advice here is general only. So we've got a daily chart of um, Horizon. So if we look back over the last sort of few months or so, we could see that it's you know, sort of made some progress off the March lows. Um, but there was obviously some decent support here uh, around 460 and it sort of broke through that um, and sort of struggled to make much headway and put in a couple of uh, lower highs. Uh, and then at 440, we could see again, it sort of broke down, retested, failed. And continued on and then as we could see obviously 420 was the next line of support broke that retested and failed again so on a few occasions we've seen it break obvious support levels and, and continue to fall um, the pace has started to increase on the way down here which has led it to to look a little bit oversold but um, at the moment there's no signs that we're um, you know, we're going to get a decent bounce. So I think the risk at the moment is still to the downside. And I think we're probably looking at a possible retest of this March low. Okay, with Telstra. So I looked at this in one of our videos, I think around here, I've never been a fan of it, but um, even after this dramatic fall, we suggested that this should be further downside. And we can see the share price continuing to fall. So, you know, the next milestone for it was the March low, which it broke under. And as we could see, it, uh, you know, after a period of time, it's tried to, to do something, but just couldn't get above that key level, which is around 290, the March low. So we could see it failing again. Look, on a positive note, there is some divergence with the RSI. So if we have a look at our daily RSI, it actually bottomed out here. It is trending higher, whereas the share price is trending lower. So that could sometimes lead to a bit of a bounce, but it doesn't mean that we found a low. So we may get a short-term bounce, but I need to see more evidence that some sort of low is in place because at the moment, the, the overall chart still looks pretty ugly. And I think that um, the odds are that we'll still see lower levels for Telstra. Okay, Lendlease. So we could see that back in October, it bounced off a key level here. So, you know, after falling with the rest of the market in September, it was crucial in my opinion that it, it didn't breach this prior low and it did manage to bounce off that quite convincingly. So that was a, that was a good sign. So we could see there's a bit of a, a range here now in, in Lendlease. So it's, it's basically marching back to the top of uh, back to the top of the range, so getting close to, to resistance. Um, so I think that it looks like it, it will try to break out of this range um, and rally, but of course we you know, ideally need to wait and see that actually happen first. So um, worth keeping an eye on. Um, if it breaks, I think if it breaks through this obvious resistance level, um, then we should see a, a swift rally back up towards these sorts of levels near sort of $16, $17. Okay, WiseTech. Um, so I had a look at this one a few weeks ago in the Dynamic Investor, which is the, the research we send on Tuesday. Um, make sure you've, you've signed up to a trial or if you do enjoy the Dynamic Investor, your trial's ended, um, let me know um, so I can re-sign you up. Um, what I noticed was this sort of a nice consolidation here and then it started to break out. So it was looking bullish in my opinion. Uh, and if we zoom out, We could see that, you know, clear resistance close to $30 and it's now broken that. So, um, 
So that breakout, I think, is a buying opportunity. Obviously, if it comes back to the range, that's negative. But yeah, in my opinion, that's um, indicative of a, of a rally. Uh, and I think it will head back up to to retest these peaks from 2019. So for the moment, some further upside with WiseTech. Okay, and finally, Mesoblast. So obviously, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a wild one over the years, as we could see if I switch to this weekly chart going back 10 years there. So, um, you know, fairly dangerous stock, I think, in my opinion, if you can, if you're on the wrong side of it. Um, obviously, it's a good trading stock if you can um, catch the momentum on the way back up. But, but most recently, we saw this big drop. Um, it is at a very good support level. I think that's very clear that $3 means something for this stock. So we saw it drop to that level, bounce strongly for a couple of days on volume, um, and then it's sort of come back to retest it. So, you know, for the whole of the last month, the market hasn't been able to push it back under $3. So that's a positive. So what I'd be looking at is yeah, a big move up. I wouldn't be buying it yet because there is a risk that with it dragging its, its feet along this $3 level, it could fall under it. So for me, it's keep an eye on it. If you get a big rally off this level, that's your buy signal. You can get a, a decent trade out of it. Um, if it breaks $3, you'd want to be at quick smart um, because clearly there's going to be a lot of stops at that level. Um, and to fall under $3, I think we'll, we'll see it plummet to $2 pretty quickly. Okay, well, that's all for this week. Um, if you have a request, send it through. I'll try to look at your stock next Thursday.